Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati. I'm going to be doing the daily scripture writing for day 19, which is Hebrews 6.12. So before I begin, welcome. Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. Oh, I'm out of breath. Okay, so today is the 19th, and I am filming it on the 19th. I said I wouldn't be on, but I, I have to. My mom loved the Lord, and... I want to do the same, you know, be the same. So for the month of October, we're focused on patience. See, I put my little sticker over the O. <laughs> so we're focused on patience and we are reading, writing, and we could pray and reflect. Uh, scripture, observation, application, and prayer. I'm doing a soap study. As you can see, I'm so behind. And we are doing as well the walk in the fruit of the spirit. It is on Patience, a seven-day devotional. We should be on this one still. I am two days behind on this one. So I will catch up with that and then catch up with the other one. So we will be reading She Reads Truth the, from the Bible. And oh, so Scripture, Hebrews 6.12. So I have it here. Here is Hebrews on top, 6, and then... 12 is very much over here. I will write from this one. This is the CSB. Christian Standard Bible. She reads truth. And I got it for a really good deal. I can't complain. Um, so let's begin. It says, so that you... Can you see that? Yeah. So that you won't become lazy. But will be imitators of those who inherit the promises through faith and perseverance again so that you won't become lazy but will be imitators of those who inherit the promises through faith and perseverance so how's everyone doing with me going to um i went to her grave to visit her for a little bit. It was very cold. I couldn't stay. Like, the cold was so unbearable. Chicago's weather is driving me insane. Like, I need to move. I want to move to another city, whatever. Um, another city and state. Even though my mom is here and I could always come and visit her, I would love to do that. Like, or just take her with me. Like, if I could, I would. Like, trust me, I would. And just going there makes you feel so much like you know she's okay. She's not sick. Um, she's not crying every night. She misses her husband, who died in 1998. Right? 96 is my daughter. 98. He died August 3rd of 1998. And... He's been gone a long time. He had onset Alzheimer's at an early age. And when he passed away, he had uh, dementia. He had his Alzheimer's in his 40s, and he died at 51, 52-ish. Yeah, so like 51, 52. Um, yeah, so it was... He would have been, I think, 52 or 53, um, his birthday was the following month. Birthdays in my family are crazy. Like, things happen on people's birthdays. Like, if it wasn't my mom passing away, I was always in the hospital on my birthday. I wouldn't say always, but pretty much. I'd go in for side pain or I'd go in for something else it turned out to be something else it was just a crazy thing in my life as an adult even as a child I think I was sick a lot too I had bronchitis my mom smoked my dad smoked my brother smoked and the only two that didn't was me and my other older brother and the bronchitis was real. Like, my neighbors, we were so close together in houses that my neighbor is like, what is going on with that girl? Why is she coughing like that? Like, she has a very bad cough. And it was bronchitis. 
So let's go ahead and read Hebrews. But she didn't die from that. She died from her heart. But which, you know, didn't help her smoking. Hebrews 6.12 So that you won't become lazy, but will be imitators of those who inherit the promises through faith and perseverance. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and read the NIV. And again, I want to do devotionals with you, and I think maybe this book would be better. Because there are, I believe, devotionals in here. Now, I have these written out. This one, I'm going to start in November. Um, I have to get that book. It's right up here. I'll show it to you in one second. But before I get distracted, I want to say there's devotionals in here, if I'm not mistaken. And if not, I have so many books that have it. Like, I can't wait to do this one. Psalms, you have a lot of weeks on this one. Like, this is pretty. But Psalms has week one through five on here. What is this? Some references. Okay, so one through five, and then six through ten, eleven through fifteen. And Psalms is a big book, so. And then it goes into that. I think this is the devotional. Right? I think this page is the devotionals. But I'm going to look into it and then I'll let you know. But yeah, so that is a lot. A study. We can do going deeper as a study from week one to week five. Maybe take a break. Start week six. Do week to week ten. Take a break because that would be one, two, three, four, five again. Take a break after 10, start 11, that's another 5, and then to 15, I know you can't see the bottom, and then that would be it. So it would be 15 weeks of going deeper in Psalms. Let me know if you would like that. Or you could do the one that I'm doing, which I'm going to show you right now before I close this video out, but I want to read the NIV version. Remember I said I'm going to switch them up. Sometimes use the She Reach Truth, sometimes not. Okay, so let's grab this one. And I'm keeping everything in front of me that we use on a regular. Okay, so here's this one. This don't even belong in here, but it's okay. So this is the one I will be working on, which is Matthew. Going deeper. So this is a one, two, three, four. A four week study, which is not bad. Psalms would probably look at this more stickers. This is the Mary Ann suede. I don't know if there's any more colors of this. This one, I don't remember where I got it from. I think maybe I didn't even know these were back here. I'm already be hiding stuff, but there's tabs back here. And yeah, so I'm gonna go deeper with this one. I haven't stop doing it yet I mean I haven't started but I'm not gonna just leave it like this we're gonna work on that I just gotta get past everything I'm going through the storms is real okay there we go my daughter's sick and yeah and she's pregnant so you worry about her okay so Hebrews 6 and then 12 is here. We do not want you to become lazy, but to imitate those who, through faith and patience, inherit what has been promised. Now, this one actually says about patience. I was kind of like, are they going to even talk about patience in the other one? Like, hopefully you can see that. So let's read this one again. And then I just did this, Patience 6, 12, October 19, 2022. We do not want you to become lazy, but to imitate those who, through faith and patience, inherit what has been promised. I like that. This one doesn't have Bible studies. This was just $12 at Walmart, but this is a beautiful one trying to see if there's anything in here we can study because you know we need to study I think this is just notes yeah notes and then table of contents 
and the Bible. Yeah, so there's really nothing in here to study besides the book itself. So don't take that wrong. I was trying to see if there's anything else that would help grow closer. This is just the way in order. So if you're looking for, like the other day I was looking for Colossians. For some reason I thought it was in the back, but it was really in the front. And it's page 1494. And then this is just a preface. So yeah, there's no study work in here besides, like I said, the Bible. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And on Sunday we will be doing the next devotional together. That way you see that I'm doing it. So I need to catch up with the two days, I think it is. Two, possibly three. Let me move it this way and make this one easier. It's the cover. I need to take that one cover off. The little band that goes around it. Sorry, I'm pushing you while I'm doing this. There you go. That's good. So yeah, so let's get October 20th ready for tomorrow. I would have felt bad not doing my scripture writing with you. I mean, yes, we need to take time, you know, to grieve. But my mom would want me to do this as well. 1 Timothy 1.16 This videos don't get the best views, but hey, whatever I can do to grow, draw draw somebody closer to the Lord, I'm going to do. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Give it a big thumbs up. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.